What's up, guys? My name is Robert Donaldson, and today we are back with episode number 25 of Rob's Best Bets for the date of December 23rd, 2022. As always, you can find me on Twitter at RobDFB. And if you want more content like this in the future, please hit that like and subscribe button because it really does help out a ton. And before we get into this video, let's recap yesterday's betting performance. And man, it started out so great going 3-0 out the gate, but we ended up finishing 1-4 after that. And that's just sometimes how sports betting goes. It can be a little bit of a tease and you know, it is what it is. Uh, Still having a great week. That said, we do have a small slate for Friday. But maybe that's kind of like a stress reliever that we need going into the weekend, considering how much volume we've actually been throwing out there the past couple days. That said, before we get into this video, let's give a great shout out to our sponsor. Today's video is proudly sponsored by WAP, and WAP is an all-in-one marketplace for communities revolving around sports, sports betting, and other digital products. And As you guys know, we don't bet on every single sports league on this channel, but that's where WAP comes in because they have so many different sports capping options to choose from, from NBA, NHL, tennis, and much, much more. And with every single service, you can easily read reviews, join free trials, and see what there actually is to offer. And if you are looking to expand your sports betting horizon, I definitely recommend checking out WAP.com sports. And to make it easy, all you have to do is click the link in the description down below. All right, for our first pick of the day, we are taking a look at a matchup between Utah State and SMU. And SMU is coming off a big win over Iona, and they were able to get it done in that game because Iona was willing to try and run up and down the court with them. And in this matchup, that will not be the case because Utah State is methodical. They're one of the more balanced teams in the country, and they can chest you up on defense. And yeah, 14 points is a lot, but on a good day, Utah State can win this game by 20. So give me the Aggies laying the 14 points here for two units. For our second bet of the day, we've got a matchup between Coppin State and George Mason. And once again, we have a team in Coppin State coming off a big win against James Madison. And listen, Coppin State played over their heads in that game. And now they're going up against the George Mason team who has won five of their last six, with four of those wins being against Queens, who we love, Hofstra, who's a good team, Toledo and Tulane. Some really good teams there. Those are impressive wins. And outside of an aberration performance, Coppin State has not looked impressive this season, so for two units, give me George Mason here, laying the 11.5 points for our second bet of the day. For pick number three, we are heading out to the Gasparilla Bowl in college football between Wake Forest and Missouri, and this game features two teams who finished the regular season drastically different. For Missouri, they finished the season winning four of their last six games to become bowl eligible. And for Wake Forest, they ended up losing their last four of six games um, coming into this game. And listen, Missouri hasn't won a bowl game since 2014, and this is a winnable matchup for them. So I am all about the Tigers here getting the two and a half points for three units. And let's even throw an additional unit down here on the money line as well. For our fourth pick of the day, we are taking a look at a matchup between Seattle Redhawks and the Iona Gales, and similarly to how that SMU game just played out with Iona, Seattle does like to try and run the floor, but they have been going through an early season slump here where they haven't been able to do that against a lot of different teams, but now there's a blueprint out to do it against Iona, and I do think the Seattle team still has quite a bit of talent, even after losing Darian Trammell in the offseason, so for our our fourth pick of the day, Give me Seattle plus a nine points for four units. All right, for our final pick of the day, we are taking a look at a matchup between Indiana and Kennesaw State. And listen, this Indiana team coming into this game right before Christmas and a little bit of a break is going to be potentially missing Xavier Johnson, Trace Jackson Davis, and Jordan Geronimo. I mean, that is a lot to be missing, even in a game against Kennesaw State, who has drastically improved this season. And what we just saw with Iowa against Eastern Illinois losing outright to a 32 and a half point dog is that without Chris Murray, without Connor McCaffrey, the, the playing field does become a little bit more even. And right now we're seeing Kennesaw State gain 20 and a half points in this game. I just think that's far too many points. So give me Kennesaw State here with a lot of confidence. We're laying five units down on Kennesaw State here. 
Really like them in the spot, especially with a depleted Indiana team. So for our final play of the day, let's take Kennesaw State here for five units. All that being said, I want to thank you guys for checking out today's video and along with WAP for sponsoring today's video as well. That said, there will not be a free additional Twitter play today. I know a lot of you guys have been reaching out for those and I really do appreciate it. It's super cool to see that we're kind of branching over to a different platform with these videos. That said, if you do still want to follow me over there, you can at RobDFB. And if you also want to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel or even share it or leave a comment. All of that stuff, I love always seeing it. So uh, with that said, I will see you in a future video. Take it easy.